Hey, hey, it's May, and I live out of my 2013 Nissan Altima named Mars. And welcome to another solo car camping journey where the open road and a little spot annuity lead to the best adventures. This trip started at Waukegan Municipal Beach in Illinois, a peaceful spot where it was just me and my dog Piper. I decided to sleep under the stars here, waking up to the sound of waves in the cool morning air. I hope that brief moment of stillness helped you feel centered as it did for me, but now let's continue with the journey. Sometimes the best adventures are the unplanned ones. On my way out of town, I made a spur of the moment stop at the Chicago Botanic Gardens. If you've never been here, it's a living museum with 385 acres of beautiful curated gardens, woodlands, and even a Japanese garden with a zen-like vibe. One of the highlights of my visit was stumbling upon their 10,000 jack-o'-lanterns display. This seasonal event transforms the gardens into a magical, glowing wonderland with hand-carved pumpkins in all shapes and sizes. It's an un unforgettable experience that combines art, nature, and a touch of Halloween spirit. After taking in all the festive beauty, I hopped on the free trolley ride, which is included with your ticket. 
The trolley gives you a guided tour of the garden, making it easy to explore the 385 acre grounds and learn about the different garden areas and seasonal exhibits. It was the perfect way to cap off my visit and see even more of the beauty the garden had to offer. From one island, like Seifuchu, to this next island here on the right called Keonto, our island of auspicious cotton. And yes, it's a cottonwood, but also it's considered to be the oldest tree here at the garden. Now, so it's been around for a long, long time. Yes. Now this area was named after a beloved garden executive who worked here for many, many years. Well, right now, less than one-tenth of one percent is actual natural prairie. Now also, behind the, uh, the tall grass prairie in the back, those are mudflats up to the left. Far left, those are mudflats, which is also a great area for bird watching. This stop wasn't in my original plan, but that's the beauty of solo trips. You can take your time and follow wherever the road leads. This trip wasn't just about getting away. It was about confronting my own fears. My psychiatrist shared a quote that really stuck with me. It said, being social is a skill, and if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's where fears, social anxieties, and even agoraphobia come into play. Those words stayed with me, and just two and a half weeks ago, I decided to do something about it. I joined a Facebook group of solo car campers, and before I could talk myself out of it, I committed to attending a meetup with complete strangers. It was a world war decision, but I knew it was time to push myself out of my comfort zone. Once I arrived, I knew I made the right choice. This group of women, all solo car campers like me, were some of the most welcoming people I've ever met. It's amazing how quickly we bonded, sharing stories, swapping tips, and laughing like we've known each other for years. We spent time around the fire and went on a beautiful hike the next day with the light up lanterns. These moments reminded me of the joy in human connection and how stepping out of your comfort zone can lead to unforgettable memories. One of my favorite parts of the meetup was the impromptu crafting session we did. It was such a relaxing and fun way to spend time together. We carved wood hoods, drew, made keychains, and even crocheted a bit. I also worked on a practical project, which was making my blackout privacy covers for the small window in the back of my car. It was a simple yet satisfying way to make my space feel more secure and comfortable. This crafting hour gave us a chance to slow down and get creative while also chatting and get to know one another even more. 
and it was a perfect balance of productivity and relaxation and a reminder that sometimes the simplest moments are the most memorable. After our crafting session, we all gathered for a car tour. It was incredible to see the different setups everyone had. There were all sorts of vehicles, from cars like mine and SUVs, to minivans, and even a beautifully built out Sprinter van. It was so inspiring to see the different ways each person had made their car camping experience unique, whether through clever organization or personalized touches. As I look back on this trip, I'm reminded of how much growth can happen in a short time. From deciding to join that Facebook group to meeting up with these incredible women all in just two and a half weeks, this adventure taught me so much about the power of showing up for yourself. And, you know, my psychiatrist is right. Being social is a skill. And this trip was my way of practicing it. If you've been hesitating to take the step, whether it's a solo trip or even joining a group, I hope this video inspires you to go for it. The rewards are always worth the risk. Thank you guys so, so much as always for joining me on this journey. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more solo car camping adventures. And as always, I will see you on the road. Bye.